Hey y'all, welcome back to Life on the Ridge. And this is part three of the uh, video series that I've been doing. The first two videos, if you missed those, I'm gonna leave a link to those in the description box below. First one was challenges that we face when building our own house. The uh, second video was benefits of building your own house. And this video is how I stayed organized and motivated while building our house. So the first thing that I done to stay organized while we built our house was I wrote everything down, write everything down, get your notebook and a folder and keep your notebook with you at all times. Uh, this is a notebook that I bought and just a four or $5 notepad, maybe seven or eight bucks. I don't know. It's, it's kind of a hardback, uh, something that's got a little strap on it. And I carried this around with me everywhere that I went. I mean, if I left the house, it was with me. It was in my truck. If I came and worked on the house, it was with me. And I wrote everything down. Matter of fact, I journaled the entire process of the build from day one to moving in. I, jour I journaled everything. So that kind of helped me stay organized. Also, by looking back, I could tell what day I done things. And if I spent money that day, I wrote it down. So I can go back now and pull, if I wanna know what day I done something and how much money I spent, all I gotta do is go back to this notebook. So write everything down, keep your receipts. I've got two envelopes, maybe even three envelopes that I keep kept in a uh, folder and they're all full of receipts. Number two, what uh, kind of kept me motivated while we built our house. And we built our house in about six months from start to finish, a little under six months. So not quite as long as the process as it would be other houses. But one thing that kept me motivated was seeing the progress and staying under budget. Like I said, by writing everything down, I could kind of keep up with the progress. But seeing the progress was a big thing. When I stood walls and when we put the building up and you know, done big things, it helped. Starting out, you start to see that progress and it's real evident. But the further you get into your project, uh, the progress doesn't seem like you're getting as much done when you're putting plug covers on, you're touching up paint, you're putting doorknobs on. Little bitty stuff, you don't really see as much. Making sure I wrote everything down helped me see it better. Make lists and check them off. That really helped me. I would I would write down what I needed to get done that week or what I need to get done in that phase of the build. And that really helped me stay motivated. As we finished things on our budget line, I would mark it off and seeing that we were under budget motivated me. I would constantly run the numbers just so we knew where we stood. And uh, that seeing like i said seeing that we were under budget that motivated me another thing that motivated me was having someone to talk to my wife was with me during the whole process whole build she was so helpful and supportive uh she never once complained about me staying late over here at the house to work or the constant trips to the store and let me tell you there were lots of trips to the store i mean lots that almost became uh our second home. If we weren't at home, we were probably at Lowe's or Home Depot. And her encouragement through the whole process uh, really motivated me even more, knowing that uh, she did, she had the confidence in me to start the house and to build the house and to get it to completion. So that really, really helped. And have fun. You know, have fun during your build. Have fun not only while you're building on the house, but have some fun away from the house. That way you can stay motivated. We took a uh, vacation trip to the beach uh, during the middle of our build and it uh, kind of rejuvenated us and uh, motivated us to get back home and finish the build because we were, we were fairly close to finishing. So uh, that really helped us to have a little bit of fun. So like I said, this is the last part to this three video series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you hadn't checked out our cost estimate video, I'll leave a link down in the description box below and uh, an iCard up here. Also, go check out some of our other videos. We got a home tour video and a, a whole playlist of just from our pole barn house builds. So y'all go check that out. 
And go check out Hank and Gina's house at Hamiltonville Farm. They've done a, a Barn Dominion style home. And uh, so y'all go check them out too. While you're over there, click that subscribe button and tell them Life on the Ridge sent you over there. And don't forget, go over to our Instagram account. Follow us over there, help us grow. We're kind of small, so y'all go over there and click the follow button if you do Instagram. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video.